Hello, 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 family. Welcome back once again to Mama Ninja's Kitchen. Um, wow, do we have a great treat for you today? Yes, French toast casserole, a delicious and decadent all American breakfast. A classic breakfast that you and your family will absolutely love. Guys, if you are into this, or if you want to know, how this was all quickly and easily hook up. Come with me, let's get right into it. Welcome once again to all my viewers, first time viewers, so much love to you, thank you for coming in and my subscribers, thank you for your support. For this recipe, full details and description of the ingredients you will need will be listed in the box below. However, it just requires a very few ingredients, that is why it is quite easy and quick to put together. One third cup of maple syrup, you have um, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of clove, and we have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm using pure vanilla extract. We're also going to use eight eggs and two cups of 2% whole milk. As a matter of fact, and I do have four apples that I'm going to be peeling and cutting into cubes you know to add on to this and what you don't see here is just about one fourth of um, crunch um, pecan pieces that I will be adding and I'm using challah bread because it is quite soft already and um, if you are using um, a French toast bread or French bread or any other bread that is a little bit tougher you will need to prep all of these ingredients together and have it sit overnight but because my challah bread here is already very soft and fluffy i will only need four hours of um refrigeration to enable everything to soak in so guys let's get cooking first we are going to prep all of our ingredients and then add into a mixture So here is the hollow bread. Um, I'm going to be cutting this into inch cube. So I'm using the bread knife. Okay, now I'm going to be cutting this up. my open dish just add here. So here is our cut bread now I'm going to transfer just mix in the apples in between and the top okay. So into that, I'm going to be adding a little maple syrup. This is one third of a cup maple syrup. And we have the vanilla extract. Spices here, I have one teaspoon cinnamon, a pinch of clove, a pinch of um, nothing. I'm going to put this in. I'm doing about eight eggs. Now we're going to mix this all up. Give it a good whisk. 
So now we are going to transfer this beautiful mixture onto the bread and apple, ensuring that each piece of the bread and apple is fully covered with this liquid mixture. So that is what you see me doing now, continuing to pour uh, almost evenly on each side of the baking dish. Now you're going to just move the bread pieces a little bit around from the bottom up to ensure a full coverage of the pieces with your liquid mixture. Alright guys, uh, this is all wrapped up. It goes into the refrigerator for at least four hours. Okay. Why that is waiting, absorbing all that beautiful moisture in the refrigerator we're going to proceed into making our strudel crumbs so ingredients that i'm going to be using is room temperature butter we have about six tablespoons of that butter you want to cut that butter up into your pan that you are going to be using for the mixture next you are going to add on one third of a cup light brown sugar and one third of a cup of purple flour and you're going to work all of that pieces together in addition adding one teaspoon of cinnamon so pour all of that onto the butter and use your hands to crumble it up into small fine pieces Everything is um, into fine particles. After four hours of refrigerator, bring your mixture out and let it sit for one hour to attain room temperature before putting it into the oven. Here I am adding on some pecan to give it that nutty nice flavor into my my casserole. As you see me doing, I am just um, now crumbling all of that um, strudel crumbs all over um, the bread mixture. So I will continue to do that until the entire surface is fully covered. <laughs> wow 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 guys look at this straight from the oven it is just <sighs> the aroma in itself is intoxicating guys so intoxicating a close up it is yummily inviting to say the least guys yummily inviting mm. This is just going to be nothing short of pure, pure excellence and delicious. <laughs> Mouth watering. I can hardly speak, guys. And here comes the moment of truth. Yes. As you can see right here, can you hear that? The crustiness <laughs> is going to be crunchy, crunchy, crunchy top. So guys, I'm just going to cut into this. It has cooled now for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I like to have it warm. Cut into that baby. And cut it like so. Now I'm going to transfer that. 
Look at that lusciousness. See that lusciousness? Look at that. <laughs> yes, so, yes, so, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Strawberry right there. And strawberry on this other end. Some organic maple syrup. Drizzle that on top of this delicious ooziness. I'm gonna have this with some Greek yogurt. Pipe in here. Some Greek yogurt right there. Just a little dot here. And a little dot right there. Look at that delicious. And you can just add a dusting. Of powder sugar. Woo! Yes, so. Woi, 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 woi. Guys, this dish, the presentation is just a top notch. Yes. Quite inviting. Mm. Decadent. Oh my goodness. And with a healthy touch of Greek yogurt and strawberry yes i know guys i went over the top here you know with the maple syrup and sprinkle of light powdered sugar Woo, man this is a befitting dish for an empress a king and queen in you transforming everyday living into that glam lifestyle yes you deserve more than these guys you do i hope you are able to hook this up because guys i will be having a sit down experience of this meal take a look at it 360 degree look it is impeccably beautiful, astonishing, and yet delish, delish, delish. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is so good. So good. So good. So good. Guys, you must have this experience. You must. And it's so easy to do. So easy to do. You can hook up this breakfast for yourself, your loved ones, and everybody will love you for it. It's gonna be a memorable experience for all partakers of our breakfast. Okay. Mm. Just throw the top in, guys. Crunchy. Cinnamon with that. Non sugar flavor. Woo! Bon appetit, guys. I need to go have a seat and finish this meal. This is my brunch for the day. If you like what you see and you love to have to enhance your everyday living into that luxurious glam lifestyle experience hook this up today guys hook it up hook it up hook it up it's like you are in a resort having this 
from fabulous experience. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Obulu. Okay, with all. Bye bye. And guys, if you have not hit the like button, hit that like button now. Subscribe and share this video so that you and your community we have a great experience with this. Mwah.